Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Optima. If you guys have a Kia Optima and you need to remove or replace valve cover gasket, stay with us, we will explain everything from start to finish guys. It's not a very complicated procedure, but you need to follow certain rules, otherwise you can cause a little bit of damage, so we're going to explain that as we go. Make sure to stand till the end, we'll share super helpful information. This should actually work guys on Kia Optima generation 2010 to year 2016. Uh, now, if you guys want to see where we buy all the tools, parts, anything that you need for your Kia Optima, check out the link in the description of the video below guys, we'll share everything guys there. Also, you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Something else guys, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything and that's the plan on that Kia Optima as well. Well, all the mechanical videos will be on this channel and if you want to see uh, videos about diagnostics, electronics, fixing el electronic components guys, all that will be shared on our second channel, it's called Electrical Car Repair Life, so check it out, it will be there. Now let's go ahead, continue and show you what we need to do. So let's explain now guys, first we need to remove the upper engine cover okay, right here in order to get to the valve cover gasket. Uh, remove that, it attaches with four bushings okay, to these posts on the valve cover, you can see. Next step guys, we'll need to remove and disconnect the fuel lines, so you leak fuel. We recommend guys to disconnect the car battery, okay, because there is uh, a really high chance to catch on fire if you have the battery connected, spark can be triggered, the fuel pump can trigger, you can spray fuel everywhere. So. Uh, on these modern cars it really matters which battery terminal you disconnect first and reconnect otherwise you can cause damage to the engine computer, uh, modules, electrical components that can cost you so much money guys, thousands of dollars to fix it so we have a special video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect and we're going to put the link in the description of the video below so please check it out once we do that, okay I recommend to work on your car when the engine is completely cold so let it sit overnight and then start on it so if you have cold engine you can still catch on fire from spraying fuel guys something else have a fire extinguisher on the side let's continue with the next step now so let's explain now we're going to disconnect the fuel line check it out okay how it's under pressure you need to push it in get the gloves and eye protection guys pull that thing out now you have two blue things one here one here you need to squish both of them while you're pushing the line in squish them and then slowly it's going to spray and it can spray on you slowly start removing it guys okay slowly 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 okay and it did spray some you can see but it came out okay perfect so we're ready with that fuel line now let's guys go ahead okay and disconnect this fuel line this is going to the direct fuel injection this is with a three quarter wrench okay like this one so you just go ahead get it loose Perfect. Now, let's see if that will give us enough room or we will need to disconnect that line later. So we'll see if that gives us enough room, guys. Okay, perfect. That's ready. Next. Uh, what do we need to do? We're going to disconnect all the ignition coils, okay, all the cables. But before we start, let's go ahead and remove, okay, that cable right here for the fuel pump disconnect that one so we can remove the whole fuel pump in a little bit 10 millimeter socket for that mount so you don't have to break your clip trying to remove it we'll just remove it with the mount all right perfect now ignition codes guys okay they have those safety pins you need to grab pull them press here and disconnect the wiring harness same thing goes to the next one okay those they will be stuck guys they will be stuck so bad if you haven't removed them that you will need to apply quite a bit of pressure okay to pull that safety pin out perfect now let's remove the ignition coils and the mount for the wiring harness okay that's what we're doing now perfect next guys let's flop that thing to the side okay that wiring harness okay and here that fuel line will be in the way i just saw that because we have another okay we have another there uh, 10 millimeter bolt so we need to figure out what to do let's go ahead and remove the fuel pump next so we can get that out of the way and we're going to see what will be the easiest thing to do after that 10 millimeter socket
perfect you will be spring loaded because it's on the camshaft careful not to contaminate anything guys not to get dust in the fuel pump where the direct fuel line goes in okay this is your fuel pump perfect it just goes there now something else guys okay something else let's go ahead and remove the ignition coils okay that will be the next step four coils 10 millimeter socket just remove the bolt perfect this is coil number four you grab them with your hand and you just pull them straight up okay great amazing so okay awesome now let's see what else we need to do so next uh, we'll need to that fuel line okay it's quite tight so there is one mount that we need to get to how we're going to do that we're going to remove the intake boot okay right here so uh, that's what we will be doing next guys okay and for that uh, specific purpose we're going to get pliers we anyways need to disconnect that clamp there so we can remove that hose from the valve cover okay I, it will come loose just a vacuum line it's a little bit stuck but uh, what you can do okay uh, let me see if i can grab it with the pliers easily just careful not to break it okay i think it came loose all we have to do get it uh, loose from the throttle body now with 10 millimeter socket get that hose clamp loose next from the air filter box assembly okay and this one came loose as well perfect we can grab that thing and just put it on the side let's see now if we have more room and how we are going to get to that mount there because from what i can see that perch control valve is there and we have a hard time getting to that fuel line mount so let's explain now we're going to remove that perch valve here we have one mount that we're there is one thing that you push down here okay right there on the bottom one tooth to release the cables okay perfect to gain a little bit more room okay that's great perfect you can see we got it out now we have uh, we have two hose clamps on the perch control valve one going to the intake manifold okay and one coming from the canister from the fuel tank perfect now let's explain what we have here specifically we need to grab this one pull it out awesome after that we have one tooth right there that you need to press down metal tooth we'll explain about it once we remove it to release the purge valve let's see it's still stuck okay if i come oh it came loose i'm going to hold these wires out of the way we can pull the purge valve out of the hose that tooth get stuck okay on that metal plate that we bent quite a bit by the way that plate okay needs to be up we just bent it some so we can remove now with 10 millimeter socket we can get to that fuel line bracket mount okay right there so that's what we're trying to do now careful not to drop the board guys it's not too complicated but you have to do that otherwise it's almost impossible and we just dropped our two but it's on the floor safely the bad thing is when it gets stuck somewhere on the engine or the transmission you don't want that to happen okay boat is coming out 
now that line let's see how much we can gain room here okay if we have enough to remove that bolt and we will next we need to uh, remove the wiring harness going to the uh, variable timing solenoid for the exhaust side okay so we need to disconnect that one now okay let me go ahead and do that quick okay perfect right here you guys you can see that piece you press down and you release it we have two clips that we need to remove can even use small pliers to squish them here so you don't break the clips but most of the times they will come out next disconnect the PCV valve holes okay right there what else we need to do we need to start removing bolts guys and we have quite a few of those okay quite quite a few so let's go ahead start on it 10 millimeter socket and uh, we just go around and start removing all the bolts holding the valve cover in place okay that mount to see if it's going to be in the way for where you leave the engine we'll see if we can get through it no oh, we have to remove it the bolts came off one by one that's the one that we couldn't reach before okay towards the back side now we need to see this one okay we probably need to remove that uh, that mount so we can re uh, get to the boat or we'll try let's see now we'll have to get a wrench actually to do that i don't think we'll be able to do it with the socket itself we will actually try to remove it without removing the mount 10 millimeter short socket okay and we'll go ahead and remove this one now then we have quite a few bolts here two around the fuel pump you can see and all the ones inside that are close to the uh, to the ignition coils so let's do those and we'll see what else will need to be done for that valve cover to come out so we should have only four more from what i can see okay i think that's probably all of them we always have to make sure you don't forget one or two because that could be catastrophic and you can break your valve cover so one of the bolts gets stuck we'll see if it's going to come out when we pull it out let's see Okay, I'll get a screwdriver and just lift it up from this side. Okay, and this bolt is out as well. Now, you have to be careful how you break it loose, not to crack it. Those are super easy to crack and we've done that in the past. That's why we warn you. You have silicone holding where the timing cover meets the valve cover here and on the back side. So there it will be stuck more than usual let's come on this side now a little bit don't go just on one side all it's sudden up let's try a little bit on this side now you have to go a little bit on each corner and the problem is i think the gasket is stuck to the cylinder head from what i can see it's quite stuck guys okay it came loose on this side now 
let's see guys okay let's see we need to come this way up if your line is a little bit in the way I'm going to just pull it a little bit like that valve cover comes out now all the gaskets are stuck to the engine guys you have multiple gaskets okay let's just uh, get the valve cover a little bit to the side so I can show you one of the gaskets is stuck on the cylinder head, another gasket for the fuel pump, and the gasket for the ignition coil, okay, is stuck right here, as you can see. So next for the gaskets, guys, okay, you will need to just uh, pull them out. Uh, they're pretty stuck, especially where the silicone part is, and they're like stuck, stuck to that engine. I think that engine has been overheated. You can see that's where the silicone is. And we're going to explain where you need to apply silicone, okay, every time you put the gasket together. So that's what we're doing now, we're just... Pulling it all the way out. Now you will come together with the ignition coil gasket. Because if that ignition coil gasket in the middle is broken or leaking or not sealing right, you will fill your spark plug wells with engine oil that can cause quite a bit of trouble. And then we have the gasket for the fuel pump assembly guys and everything came out okay. You can see just like that. Now if you need to buy a new gasket, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from. You will need to clean everything super good. And you need to apply a dot of silicone right here, where the valve, uh, the cylinder head meets the timing cover, and on the back side as well. Those will be the points that you need to apply a little bit of silicone. If you want to see the torque specs, we will have that video on the channel as well, but putting it together practically is in reverse order, we took it apart. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.